my gosh, it's so. so oh! <laughs> Sir, you need to leave. <laughs> Hi guys, we are at Sleeping Giant Provincial Park. And we are just sitting on the beach by Lake Superior. It is an absolutely gorgeous view. So last minute, oh, this is my older sister Claire. She's Hello. amazing. And we decided that we were going to go on a two full days, two nights backcountry trip. So Claire, do you want to update, update us on the day today? For sure. So we were initially going to do a much more ambitious trip, but because it was so spontaneous, we didn't end up leaving until maybe 2 or 3 yeah. p.m. So we decided, oh, we're just going to go somewhere close. We'll wing it. So we went to grocery shopping very quickly, just so efficient. Through, mm, maximum efficiency, <laughs> motored through, motored through. And then we hopped in the car and we hiked about six kilometers to get out here. We're at Lightning's Bay. It feels yes. like we're in a bowl. We're all walled in on both sides. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Lovely spa. We've got our own little beach over here. We've seen lots of slugs. So scary, terrified of slugs. But we're sitting here before going to get firewood. Mm -hmm. Claire just made some coffee with, okay, it's, it's empty now in that beautiful cup. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> with the weirdest instant coffee. Mm -hmm. It has an airplane on it. It's the craziest thing, it's wacko. But we are off to get wood, so we will see you all there. So we just went out and got wood. Claire used her hatchet. Was the hatchet? Here's the hatchet to cut a bunch of wood. It just rained today, so it's kind of super waterlogged. Oh yeah, there's Claire with her hatchet. Woo! Yes. Here's our beautiful pile of wood and some birch bark for kindling. But it's been kind of raining off and on, so we're not sure if we're gonna have a fire or not. Right now, we are like getting ready to cook some dinner. Mm -hmm. Here's our food food bag. We're gonna make some of this veggie ramen with some pepper, some zucchini, <laughs> and some tofu. So very excited for that. We'll probably cook it up here under the tarp just in case it does rain. And then crossing our fingers, it doesn't rain anymore. We'll probably go down and eat on the beach. Maybe have like attempt to make a fire. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. Oh, and I finally have a video of the Anuk Shack! So beautiful. Our finished product, eating it by the water. When we were just hiking here, we saw the Viking cruise ship. And it was right in front of us. And we knew that when we were at this bay, London's Bay, that it would be coming around the corner. Look at how fast it's moving! Where the watermelons grow, back to Motoring. my home, I dare not go, for if I do. I'm like a backcountry trip where cruise ship going back. <laughs> so last night we actually did end up having a fire, which I was super impressed with. I didn't think we were going to get much, but 
we got lucky and found a lot of birch bark, and we got the birch bark going, then we got the twigs going, and we just kept piling on small, teeny tiny twigs, and then we were able to get it going to a point where we had thrown some bigger, very wet wood, but it caught. And then, yeah, we headed back up to bed, and oh, we saw this super creepy frog, it was huge. And I only saw it silhouette in the dark, and then we shone the light up, and we were climbing up this hill, and I've never seen anything like it. It was so creepy. It was like army crawling on four yeah. legs. It wasn't hopping. It was just like it looked like a salamander. It was so yeah. strange. It reminded me of that too, like a salamander, but frog style. So this is where the frog was. We were coming up this hill, and it was right up here, just crawling along, Ooh, in the dark. It was gross. Ew. So now we have to worry about slugs on our tarp and on our tent and creepy like salamander frogs and on top of that we were just falling asleep and then claire asked if we had brought everything to the bear lo bear lockers and then she said oh the cliff bars we forgot cliff bars in the outside pocket of our backpack so then claire took them out went to the bear locker put them back and then as she came in the zipper was like broken it would not close so what we had to do to make sure that no creepy frogs and slugs got into our tent was totally duct tape the entire bottom. Let's see here. Where is it? Oh, can you see that? Yeah. So we had to duct tape this entire bottom here. The top was fine. The top worked well. But this bottom, we had to duct tape it. Look at all this duct tape. So that was our night of cruise ships in the distance, um, creepy salamander frogs, and duct tape that saved the day. Duct tape is the best. And to add on to everything else, last night we lost our lighter. So I think when we were having our fire, we maybe left the lighter right on like the ashes and then the fire started and then we probably burned the lighter to bits because we can't find the lighter and that means that we can't cook anything, boil water, make coffee. So. We are looking for it right now, where we had our fire, in the in the ashes that remain, because we better find this lighter. Here we are at the bear locker. Dun dun dun! Now, do we have another lighter? Is the real question. Moment of truth. I could have sworn I packed two. Did I check that the second one worked? No. Ooh. The plot thickens. Am I sure that I packed two? No. <laughs> when experienced camper packed two? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 We're looking promising. Stove. <gasps> we do have a lighter, but Ooh. does it work? Lake, eating some breakfast. So for breakfast, we have an apple and cliff bar. This is what I'm most excited about. We've been excited about eating these cliff bars forever. And then we have some trail mix. So very excited for breakfast. After breakfast, then we'll probably pop down the tent and then start going because today's our long hiking day. So we have about 15, 20 kilometers of hiking if we want to get to our next stop and then go all around the Sleeping Giant. Hopefully, hopefully everything goes well. So here's the map of the Sleeping Giant, where we are. So this is how, how much we hiked yesterday. Okay, we started right here. We hiked all the way along and we're camping here in London's Bay. So we hiked about seven kilometers yesterday. And then today we're gonna go up around the feet of the giant, all the way along the front of the giant, all the way along. This is about where the head is. We're gonna loop around and we're gonna stay in Sawyer's Bay. So that would be about 12, 13 kilometers or so. We'll camp here in Sawyer's Bay. And then tomorrow we'll hike out on the Sawyer's Bay Trail, all the way back out to the parking lot. And that'll be another five or six kilometers or so. Beautiful 
We just packed up our campsite, have our bags on our back, and we're going down to Sawyer's Bay, which is where we're spending the night tonight. So it's about like 13 kilometers-ish. Mm. Yeah, so it's beautiful out. It's not raining, which is wonderful. It's good weather. Have our packs on, so today's gonna be a great day of hiking. Day one is done. 